Okay, so here we are at 429 Hillcrest, Dayton, Ohio. Um, this is the home right here, uh, brick home. This has got a lot of potential here. I'm thinking a potential of up to $25,000 in equity, right? Looks like you can walk out onto a little balcony. It looks like they have a little fire pit table and everything over there. The Burr strategy is a great way for investors with a little bit of know-how, a little bit of, uh, you know, be able to put a little know-how, some sweat equity into their properties, and they could turn a relatively small amount of capital into a massive real estate portfolio. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. What's up, Dayton? Do you know my favorite way to invest, y'all? My favorite way to invest is with the Burr strategy. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat. And I got a banger of a bird deal for y'all today, okay? 429 West Hillcrest Avenue, all right? This bad boy is coming to y'all at 59.9. Now, this is a 3-2 that's going to need a little bit of love. But, of course, it's going to need love, y'all. We're doing the burr strategy. Renovate is like the first R of all them R's in the Burr strategy, y'all. Now, this thing, uh, this has got a lot of potential here. I'm thinking a potential of up to $25,000 in equity, right? You pick it up for $59,900. We got to do, in my opinion, uh, like around, maybe like around like twenty or so thousand dollars of cosmetic repair get it rent ready for either cash paying or section eight tenants and then we got to drop some money into that roof right you're looking like seven eight grand or so uh for that roof right because we're definitely going to need a new roof in this bad boy right so you pick it up just a smidgen under 60k you put roughly 30k into it and then what's it worth 100 110 possibly 115 right you're all in for 90 you get an arv of 115 y'all you're looking at a cool 25k in equity not to mention a tenant paying $1,350 a month. You get a Section 8 tenant, that money's coming in, government guaranteed all the time, right? The Burr strategy is a great way for investors with a little bit of know-how, a little bit of, uh, you know, be able to put a little know-how, some sweat equity into their properties, and they could turn a relatively small amount of capital into a massive real estate portfolio, right? You hear about these self-made millionaires, these folks that got into the real estate game, and they didn't have a lot of money, now they're millionaires, right? I'm one of them. When I got into the real estate business, I started doing bird deals. I'm making 30 k a year managing a radio shack. Today, I stand here talking to you all having done over $200 million dollars worth of transactions in Ohio owning massive amounts of rental units having dealt with literally thousands of tenants thousands of renovations y'all this is the start right the burr strategy okay you're able to take your money put it into the deal get a good paying tenant in there get a solid property pull all that money back out and do another one okay and this deal right here this makes perfect sense for those Burr investors, right? So from here, uh, if you're out of state and you just want to buy it sight unseen, I'm assuming you're going to want to do your due diligence though and have it contingent on uh, inspection. You're going to send in your contractor inspector. That's totally fine. Just send your offers to my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. I could write up the contract. Uh, you just need to let me know how much you want to offer and what your contingencies are. If you would like to tour the property prior to that, that would be preferable, especially if you're like a local Dayton cat out there, right? You want to get into that property. Let's get you in there, man. Hit up my team, sales at HoltonWise.com. Hit us up before 5 o'clock. I will get you in there the same business day. Hit me up after 5 o'clock. That's beer 30, y'all. I'm busy. Don't fuck with me. I'll hit you up, though. I'll get you in there the very next business day if you hit me up after beer 30. Let's go. Okay, so here we are at 429 Hillcrest, Dayton, Ohio. Um, this is the home right here, uh, brick home. We're gonna take a look at it here. Panda the neighbor's homes here. Nice day out here. Pretty nice little area here. 
walking around here. Excuse the truck in the driveway. Got the uh, We Buy Houses sign up here. Had to kind of improvise because of the uh, brick home. I really had nowhere to put this sign. So let's take a look here. Go around the outside. Nice little like cottage style house. Single drive. Looks like it wraps around to the back here. Wow, got a really nice looking uh, porch off here. Uh, actually attached garage as well. This is a nice little house here. Up there on the roof, we got some uh, of that. Let's see here, go around here. Little uh, landscaped area. It looks like it's pretty nice in the summertime. So, got a view of that. It's a really nice, uh, cool little house here, actually. So, let's go around this way. Looks like we got a rear entrance door right here. Kind of anxious to see uh, see what it looks like inside. You guys will get to view the same time I will. I unlocked the door and didn't go in yet, so. Got a tree out front here. I'm sure that blooms up pretty nice. Once again, here's the neighboring area. Excuse the truck in the drive. Nice front yard, nice little walkway here. Go around the side here. Nice little house. There's a uh, pretty large dog in this back neighboring yard with not a very big fence. So I'm gonna try not to get too close to him. Okay. It's like a really good sized house. Got the air conditioner covered up there. Let's go take a look inside. Enough with me talking. I kind of want to see what it looks like in here. So, getting the first look along with myself here. I've not been in here yet. Really cool entryway here. Stairs leading straight upstairs. Obviously, looks like a uh, turn to the left. Let's go here and check out the floor. Wood floor. Cool little entry closets here. This is a really cool little house. Pretty sweet uh, like built-in bookshelves here. These beams are actually really cool. Fireplace. So, not really sure what's up with the the floor. I'm guessing, if I had to guess from looking at the entryway floor, there's wood under this carpet. And <clears throat> looks like it's kind of coming up like this entryway floor here. Like I said, I'm not really sure what the issue is with it, but you can kind of tell. So, like I said, not sure what's up with that. I mean, it seems... Seems solid from what I'm walking on anyways, but I'm going to be kind of cautious. Obviously, you want to look at the ceiling here. Absolutely some, some damage for sure. Let's look back here. Bear with me. I'm being kind of cautious, as I said. Uh, let's see. Looks like some damage. Obviously some damage. Looks like this might have been maybe an addition. Let's check it out over here before we go any further back there. Little hall. Looks like a little office or like a dining area here. Damage on that ceiling. If they had a water leak upstairs or what. Looks like this little... And goes back to where we were just at. Let's see. Doo -doo. Little kitchen here. Nice little kitchen. Uh, let's see here. Obviously needs a needs a little work. Looks like we got some uh, little mold spots. Obviously there. 
Cabinet, sink. Let's check the plumbing out under here to see what it looks like. Garbage disposal. Actually, it doesn't look too terrible. This place is hateful. Fridge. Let's see what we got here. I'm guessing it's bathroom. Yeah, little single bathroom. Wow. I've never seen a sink like that. Small bathroom right here, but it's actually pretty cool. A little closet. This house is very unique. It's really cool, though. Let's go take a look upstairs. Pretty roomy. Bedroom up here. Obviously some mold. Closet, nice size closet. Wow, this is a really large bedroom. Really nice bedroom. A couple windows, really big closet. Wow. This place is kind of, uh, kind of deceiving. It's pretty decent size. Check out this bathroom. Here's the second bathroom upstairs. I can stand up. <clears throat> so, there's that. Let's check it out. Looks like another little bedroom here. I was kind of curious because I saw this from the outside. Obviously, we have a door leading to the outside from the upstairs interior. Um, really cool. I was curious to see what the railing was. Looks like walk out onto a little balcony. It looks like they have a little fire pit table and everything over there. It seems, uh, oh, this is pretty sweet. Looks like people keep their backyards pretty nice. Seems solid. I'm not gonna walk too far out there just cause you don't know, um, but does seem pretty solid. That's really cool. Shut this. Lock it back up. Oh, that's awesome. A little closet. Little closet. I think that's about it for the upstairs up here. Really big upstairs. Super cool, especially that outdoor patio upstairs. Go back down here. See if we can find the basement. I think I have a good idea where it is. I think it is a cool little encased display cabinet thing here. I guess the basement is right. And I was right. Let's see here. So check this out. had my light and I cannot find where I put it in this house. So apparently I just walked down here like this. Wow. Man, this house is really cool. Water heater. Water heater's not that old. It's a pretty small water heater. Definitely apologize for uh, for the lack of light. I don't know what I did with that thing. Furnace is definitely pretty old. Let me see if I can find a date on it. It is a. Can't even find a brand on here. 
It's a gas furnace. But the furnace is definitely pretty old. Looks like we got a little crawl space going under the house. Uh, glass block windows. Washer dryer. Looks like it's got the... Uh, there's the panel. Let me see if I can find this light. Where do I lay this thing? Another view of the house here. This freaking carpet's weird to walk on with this floor like this. Let's see if I left it in the truck for some odd reason. Actually did leave it in the truck. Go back in here. Sorry about that. Get a better view of that basement because I don't want to miss anything because this place has a lot of it's like secrets. <laughs> so Basement seems really dry. Um, definitely doesn't seem like any water down here. There we go. There's a better view of the panel. A little like crawl space down here. It's actually a pretty decent sized storage area. So, the plumbing. There she is. Let's take a look at it. Better front view here. Pretty old, but there it is. Water heater's pretty old. I mean, it's not terrible, but it's not the newest for sure. I don't see a date on it anywhere. I mean, I wouldn't be too concerned about the floor upstairs that we walked on, because, I mean, it. looking at the joists and stuff like that, it doesn't seem, I mean, it doesn't seem like the floor's rotten or anything, so I'd say it's definitely that wood flooring under that carpet. Somebody just did probably a poor job of laying it, but 429 Hillcrest, Dayton, Ohio. Want to, uh... Head out of here. I think, uh, well, one more thing. Let's, uh, see if we can't check out that porch because the porch was pretty sweet looking. There's some keys, sunroom. A good guess for the first key. Sunroom's pretty sweet, just as I expected. A little attached sunroom here. It looks out into the driveway. Look over here. The attached garage. That's where we're gonna go next. A little sitting area. Pretty sweet. It looks like all the windows. These are actually sliding patio door window things on here. They're almost full size with an exterior door. Shut this back. This is a super cool little house. Let's see if we can check this out here. This will be the garage. We can get it open here. Little paint around while I'm trying to find what key it is here. Let's 
Actually, got one more key to try. Actually, I can't get in there. Those keys do not open that. But anyways, that is the attached garage, and I'm guessing it's a fairly decent garage from everything else I've seen in here. Put these keys back on the counter here. Dishwasher. There we go. Let's, uh, I think I'm going to make my way back outside and, uh, in this video. So, I uh, appreciate it, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.